So in this video, we're going to find the inverse of a two by two matrix. So let's say we have the matrix A, and inside the matrix we have the numbers A, B, C, and D. Then the formula for the inverse of this matrix A is going to be equal to one over the determinant of matrix A. The symbol that looks like the absolute value means the determinant of matrix A. And this is all multiplied by another matrix. And in this matrix, notice these numbers in the red diagonal. Notice how they switch positions. In the original matrix, the A was in the top left position, and now it's in the bottom right position. And the D in the original matrix was in the bottom right position, and now in the inverse, it's in the top left position. So the numbers in the red diagonal have to switch places. And now we can take a look at this green diagonal. Notice in this green diagonal, the C and the B, they actually stay in the same position as the original matrix. However, in the inverse, the signs switch. In the original matrix, they are positive, notice, and in the inverse, now they're negative. So let's use this formula to find the inverse of a two by two matrix using real numbers. So here we have the two by two matrix B with the numbers two, four, one, and three. And the first thing you wanna do is find the determinant of this matrix B. And in order to find the determinant of a two by two matrix, the only thing that you need to do is multiply the red diagonal and then multiply the green diagonal and then subtract them from each other. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. The determinant of matrix B is equal, and the first thing I need to do is multiply the red diagonal. Notice how we have a two and a three, so I'm gonna multiply two times three. And then we need to subtract and multiply the green diagonal. And notice in the green diagonal we have four times one, so I'm gonna multiply four times one. So the determinant of matrix B is equal to two times three, which is just six, minus four times one, which is four. Six minus four is equal to two. So we know from our formula before that the inverse of A was equal to one over the determinant of A. So the inverse of matrix B is gonna be equal to one over the determinant of matrix B. And we know from before that the determinant of matrix B is equal to two. So I'm gonna replace the determinant symbol with the number two. And now the only thing that we need to do is fill in the inside of our two by two matrix. So first let's take a look at the red diagonal. We need to switch the positions of those numbers. So in the original matrix B, the red diagonal has a two and a three. Notice how the two is in the top left corner. So in the inverse, it's going to be in the bottom right corner. And notice how the number three is in the bottom right corner of the original matrix B. So in the inverse, it's going to be in the top left corner. So now let's take a look at the green diagonal. We have a one and a four. They actually stay in the same position in the inverse as they are in the original matrix B. So I'm gonna keep them in the same position. However, they switch signs. Since they're both positive in the original matrix, they're both going to be negative in the inverse matrix. So now we have taken the inverse of matrix B. However, this one over two is a scalar and can be multiplied by all the numbers. So I need to simplify this matrix a little bit further. The inverse of matrix B is equal to one over two times three, which is three over two. 1 over 2 times negative 4 is just negative 2. 1 over 2 times negative 1 is negative 1 half. And 1 over 2 times 2 is just positive 1. So this is our final answer. Now we have found the inverse of matrix B.